This video is kindly sponsored by MPB. I feel in my element in locations like this. Waterfalls, woods, forests, and I love how busy these places can be. There's so many elements to work with, just so many possibilities of compositions. We are vertical, wide angle, looking down slightly at this cascade in the bottom of the image, and I'm including these mossy rocks here in the bottom, as I sort of like how they're guising the water down to the bottom right there. A horizontal shot could work another time as well. I love this tree in the top right, although that sock has to go. I don't know how or why, but it's there. <laughs> the party is happening on the left and there's not much going on on the right. If we had some water coming down these rocks here, just to sort of fill in that space, that would be absolutely gorgeous. But as I say, I, I feel like the right side is a bit bare at the moment so I think we're just gonna stick with vertical shots and sort of focusing on this section here. I also came across this idea when I was setting up this shot obviously we're quite low quite a low angle here but at eye level and hopefully you can see this on camera we've got this ledge of rock going around the this pool here at the bottom of this waterfall that could be interesting as a horizontal shot using all of that rock as sort of framing in the in the bottom of the image so many ideas already and we're only just on this side of the stream so uh let's head over to the other side and see what we can find there oh i better bring my gear with me I think we hit the best side of the stream first. This waterfall is beautiful. And I like these rocks as well in this sort of tucked away in this corner, filling that space. We've also got some foam slowly swirling in the pool here. But what I don't like is this tree that's going over. It's sort of cutting off bits of the waterfall. And no matter if I get low or high, I can't really seem to get a composition where it's not bothering me. So I think Instead of wasting time here, we're going to move on and go find another waterfall. Now this has to be the most gorgeous waterfall county trail I have visited so far and I'm sure I say that every time I visit a new trail but look at this this is absolutely stunning I absolutely love this. It reminds me of something out of Lord of the Rings. And I think this works really nicely just with a simple horizontal crop, maybe 16 by nine, just to get rid of the sky at the top there. And what I love, all of these green ferns and plants and trees in here, it's just so vibrant. And to me, it looks as though they're all sort of leaning down towards these pools of water in these falls as if everything's just gravitating towards it and I don't blame it because it's absolutely spectacular. Let's tinker with this scene slightly though and see if we can make something else of it. I'm wondering if I can close the gap between these two falls by moving backwards down this path very slightly. Yeah, see this works better 
It just brings those falls closer together. Again, I'm going wide, but I almost feel the need to crop in closer, get rid of that tree, get rid of some of these ferns, and just focus on those two falls. Oh, the sun's coming out. So we're gonna try that as well. It'd be really fun to take a look at these later on and decide what I prefer, what works, what doesn't work, and ideas of how to improve on this scene next time I come here. It's all experimentation, journey of experimentation. So I've come to the other side and I'm not really seeing anything here. This waterfall is sort of being hidden by all of these trees and ferns. Can't really see through them. But this trail is incredible. There are waterfalls just hidden around every corner. It's amazing. I think while I go and look for our next composition, I'm gonna hand you over to today's sponsor, MPB. MPB is the largest global platform to sell, trade in and buy used video and photo kits. I get messages regularly from you guys asking about my kits, specifically about my 850 and my 750, both bought from MPB. And just to let you know, I do still have the 750. I used it the other day just off camera, so don't panic, it's still there. Now what I love about buying used is, apart from the obvious fact that it's cheaper by about a third less in comparison to buying new, but I also get to participate in a circular economy as a creator in keeping perfectly good tech out of landfill, extending the life of it, and it's better for the planet. If you're hesitant about buying used kit, which let's be honest, many others are, MPB does have a team of specialists who evaluates everything that we send in before we are allowed to buy it. So it is approved and it comes with a six month warranty for peace of mind. If you've got some used kit that you want to pass on or you're looking to add something to your camera bag, then go and check out MPB. I will leave a link for the website in the description box down below, but finish watching this video first and then go check out some photography gear uh, we better go see what Courtney's getting up to. Ah, good timing. I would love to hear your thoughts on this rather odd composition that I'm not sure if I'm going to like. Okay, original concept for this image. I like this swirling pool of water, so I was going to use it as foreground subject. 16 to 35 millimeter wide angle lens. I was going to go wide enough to get the edge of the pool in the bottom. It almost like a framing element in the bottom of the image there. But when I go that wide, I get these rocks in on the left and I don't want them in there. And so what I'm having to do instead is just crop in close. So I'm at a really, really low angle, but pretty close to the water. And then I've got that waterfall in the middle of the image right at the back. It's a straight waterfall. It's, you know, it's just going straight down. In terms of shutter speed for this image, I'm going to go for a slightly faster shutter speed. I think this waterfall needs a faster shutter speed to retain some detail and texture. If I go long exposure there, it's just going to be this bizarre, blurry strip of white, and I don't think that's going to look good. And again, I want to retain, I want to freeze the motion of this swirling pool and this foam in the foreground as well. too sure about this waterfall to be honest which means we should probably come back and spend a bit more time with it on another day otherwise that is me done for today I have officially run out of snacks and the stomach is in charge so uh, it's time to head off so thank you so much for watching this video 
Let me know if you enjoyed any of the images and compositions, and uh, I'll see you next time.